All right, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So, this video, I'm just going to cover a bunch of alts and a lot of technical analysis stuff. Just a little bit about, you know, kind of what I've been watching and learning and just kind of seeing just based off, you know, very simple things in this market. Just so you guys can get a clear understanding of a little bit of technicals in this market. Um, so let's dive into it and I'll, I'll go into a bunch of altcoins as well. But um, so the first thing is first, you know, like I said in the last video, I'm, I'm actually getting really bullish again. It is looking really good, very good bounce here. Yeah, let's see the weekly. Oh, sh sorry, my cat just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> um, yeah, it's looking very bullish on a weekly time frame. You know, we actually just had a. You know, I wanted to pull up to a monthly. So this monthly close is very, very bullish on the market right now. You know, when you get a candle like this, usually what that means, you know, is a lot of people were trying to sell, 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 but everything was bought up. Everything continued to get bought up, get bought up, more and bought up. You know. It came back down and it looks like it wants to start. So I would not be surprised if the next candle. I don't know what that shape is. If the next candle looks something like this, maybe even like higher. I guess I can't really color it, but. You know, I, I'm not, I, I, I would not be surprised to see that. Market looks very bullish. Let me delete that. Um, so, some things I want to show you guys with technical analysis that I have realized in the market because this is going to make, you know, entries and exits honestly a lot easier than I feel like some people may think. You know, because I talk about on the channel sometimes, I'm very technical based when I look at, you know, different projects different charts, different entries and stuff. Um, and just some things that I've noticed about the strongest assets. You know, I'll give you a good example right here is Ondo. So I want to bring up Ondo right now because like I said, Ondo is definitely one of the strongest RWA coins in this space right now. You know, I'm going to just show you like simple TA. And what that means is technical technical analysis, right? So this is on a daily chart. And basically in crypto, what I've noticed is the strongest assets usually tend to hold their support levels. You know, if you're if you trade forex, if you trade other markets, you know, a lot of times you get it you gotta use like a lot more in-depth strategies and stuff you know it's really pinpoint where price can go because a lot of levels are never held but in crypto what i've realized is a lot of levels are held and it's very easy to watch for so like i said one just looking at a very strong asset ondo you know we're just gonna look at the the ta really quick obviously super bullish momentum broke through what did it do retested kind of its previous high this level here Broke, retested, boom. Came up. And continued to run, continued to go, continued to run. You know, outside of like a few little sweeps here, there, or there, and here and there. Can't even talk. You know, kind of broke through and wanted to do again. As it just continues to move, you know, came all the way back up to this little area of support, technically. Bounced. Same thing here. Again, this one, the liquidity kind of got swept here. But from there, it kind of bounced, then ran again. Here, it tried to do the same thing, failed. Came back down to, you know, this area. Which, again, it's not going to work 100% of the time, but, you know, again, it bounced. And where did it bounce again? Once it ripped through, retested, just right around the support area, bounced sat at this level here for a while you know and then did the same thing again right 
Then we had this general support area, broke through it, bounced for a while, came down, bounced here, but then this one it failed because it tried to run. You know, in this time in the market, you know, everyone thought crypto was over, right? So that's why this level never held. <clears throat> um, you know, but for the most part, I'm gonna pull up a few memes too because I think meme coin charts are even more like this and i'll show you guys in a second one of the easiest and most obvious uh things in which i'm talking about is actually um you know i want to pull up hoppy which is you know it's kind of like another pepe meme but a different matt fury one because hoppy and hoppy's friends you know as a narrative it's it's been very bullish but I just want to show you the chart, the same exact idea with what I'm talking about. Like sometimes the strongest assets, and by strongest, I do mean that Hoppy is very strong. And I'm going to show you guys another one in a minute as well. So if this can stop lagging for a minute, that would really be nice. There we go. Let me put myself here. So like just zooming in, right? So this was in May, April into May, you know, price went up, bottomed out and continued to run, continued to run. So first things first, the breakout came up. Where did it fall all the way back to? Just above this previous area, right? All right, next level, bounce. You know, decided to run for a few days, for a week or two bounce came all the way down where you know if you want to call this support level yeah it broke through it technically but you can consider this a general area because I'm I played in this in the realm of you know if let's say you're gonna take a trade and target new highs you know you don't want your stop loss you know at the bottom of <clears throat> of this you know and you don't want to be targeting something like this you need to give your stop loss a lot of room to breathe you know, you don't need to make it like a one to one, but you know, two, three to one target new highs just based off of a simple support resistance bounce to me seems like a pretty easy move, right? But again, it's never going to be 100%. This is just a general idea, you know. But then we saw it bounce, you know, kind of mess around this, broke new highs, bounced again, broke up, and then what did it do here? Retested basically these levels, you know, outside of the wicks bounced shot up again tried to do it again here technically did it again but failed because i think you know at this point the chart was just so overbought like on a daily it, it has to have a major correction at some point you know another another chart that i like to look at is michi before it started <clears throat> its drawdown another one is the npc chart you know and so the thing is though is i'm trying to bring up this stuff it, I, in my opinion, it is not typical for crypto projects to just go up only, break, retest, break, retest, break, retest. So the NBC chart, I've been waiting for a decent correction like this for a while, and it finally happened. Um, you know, but if you guys are just, if you guys have been in NPC or been watching it, I wish they had a replay tool. You know, but if you just want, look at this up only, like legit from last year. Just constant up only break retest, you know, kind of sits here, broke through, retest into the range, break, kind of retested here, break, retested. So bottom line, what I'm getting at is if you're in a strong, strong coin, for the most part, most levels are going to be held to a point and they're not going to be just dumping to oblivion. You know, like you, you could literally draw a support level at any single area here right technically yes like i said it, sometimes they break through but again it never signals the end of the the run it just continues to break into new highs pulls back whether on support or just under it runs same thing just had a double bottom broke through again you know you can draw another one just on the support here Bounced, retested onto this, then it bounced, bounced, made bullish momentum until what? It broke through yet again. 
broke through, retested underneath. Boom. Same thing. I, I, if we zoomed in here, probably did a bunch of breaks and retests. Another one here, break, retested onto this area. Boom. Same thing here. Had a huge rip. I guess retested down here if you consider it. Excluding this wick. Um, you know, and finally here it had that correction. Which I think is literally needed for this coin. As that looks like the most overbought asset in existence. You know, we'll pull up Michi as well. And again, this is not to like, you know, say anything good or bad about these meme coins. I'm just bringing up charts because, you know, there's a lot of coins. Or if you just showed me the chart, I could tell you what it is. But Michi, same thing. If you zoom out before it started the low. Hey, and I'm, I'm telling you guys this because if you are a trader, you know, you look to trade a lot of meme coins and stuff. You use exchanges. You know, sometimes if you guys are, I mean, depending on if the exchange has some of the coins, you know, that are making these moves and running heavy, you know, it's, I feel like it's fairly easy just to watch these up only moves play out. You know, Michi had similar idea as well. But, um, but keep in mind though, you know, I'm talking about this with fairly specific coins. Oh man, this is so slow. Because not every single coin is going to just, you know, have charts like this, though. But this is it's just a general thing. Because I'm going to bring up some utility projects, too. Like, I brought up Ondo. I'm going to bring up just a couple AI as well. Like, it, it goes in every single narrative, every project. Not every project, I'm sorry, but lots of different projects. You know, so Michi, technically, this, we could say this started, let's say... Above this previous initial run, all-time highs, right? Came up, had bullish momentum to the upside. Broke through, what did it do? Retest, almost directly onto that support level. Shot up, boom. This just hit escape velocity for a while. Same thing here, boom, boom. Tried to bounce, where did it bounce? Almost on this support, a little bit above it. It's a general area, right? Same thing. You know, another move here broke heavily through. Where did it bounce? Pretty much right on previous resistance, right? All right, support. Broke through again, making that momentum. Another push up, and then it, this is when it kind of died out, fall or fell through. And again, I'm not saying Michi is dead by any means. I think Michi is gearing up literally for another leg up right now. I think the next leg up will probably take it to at least 600 to 800 million i mean right now it's at 18 cents at 100 million so basically every 20 cents this would be at 100 million so it could go to a dollar that would make it at what 500 million in market cap definitely could see that and again i'm not talking about in the next two days or week you know it's going to take a while definitely will take a while but i mean i'm actually very bullish on michi but another one, I want to pull up OXO. This one, I don't know if the chart 100% looks like that. But, I mean, it's just simple examples, guys. I just remember that this one had a couple, you know, good bounces. But this is what I mean by just, like, the strongest assets. Once they really start their moving, this is on the daily. I'm just going to keep it on the daily chart. I wouldn't zoom it in, but... Computer's a little slow right now. But same thing though. You know, if we zoom this in, this would just be a nice bounce. You know, finally had a good break of structure here, chilled. Boom. What did it do? Bounced twice on this level. Basically on previous support. Continued up. Showed signs that it was going to continue. Came all the way back down. Into this area. Bounced. <clears throat> And then here it looks like, you know, here didn't really retest these previous highs, but <clears throat> kind of sat, chilled, and eventually it had that momentum, another mo like big push. Um, I guess kind of here it did it too, but that's not really like a strong one. 
I think the next major one would just be right here. You know, just off its previous all-time high. Yes, this did take, what, many months for that to play out. You know, it broke here, broke through, bounced, 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 ran up, and then retested, double bounced here. Ripped all the way up here, right? And then this technically, I think if we were in better market conditions, in June and July this would have bounced here and just probably continued but that's another thing I've learned is if you guys um, I'll just say if you guys want to know but I'm like I want to tell everyone right now when market conditions are horrendous like they were usually support and resistance levels will not be held because again this market is very very emotional and most people, you know, a lot of people don't really know what technical analysis is. They don't even know how to look at charts. You know, they just they just want to buy certain coins to buy them, right? But, um, you know, when you have a very heavily emotion-based market like this, I mean, every market's very emotional, but I just feel like with crypto, since there's no real heavy fundamentals behind it, you know, it's just so high risk. And people are so quick to sell, you know, once they see or smell the smallest bit of fear, right? But when the market is very down bad, you know, even the strongest projects, I like I consider OXO a very strong AI coin. Like I said, like levels usually just will not get held. You know, and you guys have seen some lower caps go all the way down to zero, right? Supports were not held, they just trended down no matter what. And it's because of market conditions and the uncertainty. When the market's very uncertain, and people don't know what's happening, you know, everyone just sells because they think everything's over, right? Actually, I think Trump coin too. This had a lot of um, breaks and retests as well. Just simple TA. This is literally one of my biggest fades of my life. This I could have bought last year. I don't know if it was this. I think it was this pump I missed. I watched this go up and I thought I faded it. Like literally down here. I think it was at a, not even 2 million a market cap. Biggest fade of my life. <clears throat> but anyways, yeah, this chart looks actually... I, 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 I want to say almost too bullish. But, I mean, bounced. And then where did it bounce on previous support? Same thing. Broke through, swept liquidity a little bit. It's somewhat on previous support, bounced. Yes, this this isn't the best chart. But, again, I mean, outside of that with the TA, again, just what I've noticed with very strong assets, you know, is they usually will just hold their levels like that, like I was saying. They will steadily continue having bullish momentum no matter what. You know? So that's kind of what I wanted to cover in this video. Because like I said, I feel like this market is a lot more emotional than others, even though every market is emotional, right? But because of just how this market operates, it can be a lot more high risk because, again, there's no, you know, super strong fundamentals outside of, you know, what crypto is. You know, it's, it's I feel like it's just different, different and more difficult. But with that being said, I think the technical analysis is a lot easier just by, you know, catching decent sized dips and just waiting and holding if you're in the right assets, you know. So I just wanted to share some thoughts, stuff I've seen. And outside of that, guys, that's kind of what I wanted to bring up. So if you're looking to trade certain coins on, you know, whatever exchange, you know, just look for very strong high time frame, you know, areas where you know let's say price is breaking out something like this area right usually again this one didn't hold again because in june everyone thought the market was over right if we were in great market conditions i guarantee this would have bounced and just ripped into new highs but just look for key areas and it's going to be probabilistic you know look for key areas where previous highs are and the reason i'm doing this is because you know touch resistance here a bunch Touched it again here. Finally broke through this. 
you know, so this if this was a trade in June, it would have failed. But like I said, in good market conditions, I feel like if you guys just wait for a retest right around a previous support, you know, and go for like just a long entry and target previous highs or even just newer highs from there, depending on the asset, usually it's going to play out pretty well. So, yeah, because you could do it right here, even though I wouldn't recommend it there, but yeah, so it depends on the asset and the coin and the chart, right? But just wanted to share some general knowledge that I've seen. So outside of that, I appreciate you guys watching. And, you know, I think the market's really decided to bottom. I don't, I don't see us going much lower than where we're at. So stay bullish, guys. I think the bull run is about to kick off for real. So let's get it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.